Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to solve this problem, which is the following. Find two numbers whose sum is 18 and difference is 4. All right, so that is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so let's take a look uh, at this question one more time before I show you the answer. So we are looking for two numbers whose sum, and just in case you forgot, sum is when you add up these numbers, uh, that is 18, and the difference is when you subtract, that is 4. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is 11 and 7. All right, so these are the numbers. Now, if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face in the A+, and you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I don't really understand how to solve this problem. Can you teach me? Well, I definitely can. All right, now the best way to solve this problem is to use algebra. So really what we're talking about here is an algebra word problem. Now, I know a lot of you are like, hey, Ms. 2 Math Man, I don't like algebra, and I particularly don't like algebra word problems. Well, listen, algebra is simply a tool, and it's a fantastic tool that helps us find unknown values. So, for example here, we're looking for two numbers or two unknown values, so we can use algebra to solve this problem. Okay, so we're looking for two numbers whose sum is 18 and whose difference is 4. Now, remember, the sum is when you add up two or more numbers, and the difference is when you subtract two or more numbers. So what we could do here is set up two variables that represent these mystery numbers. Okay, so I'm going to use some uh, simple variables here, x and y. So we'll let x equal one number, and we'll let y equal the other number. Okay, so now that we have these uh, variables that represent these numbers, what we need to do is come up with some equations so we can solve for these variables. Okay, so hopefully uh, this is going to be pretty simple, but let's go ahead and see if you can figure out what the equations are. So we have these two numbers. Again, we have the variables x and y whose sum is 18. Now, can you think of one equation we can write here? I'll show you the equations here in just one second. And then here we have uh, the difference is 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these equations. So x plus y, here is our two numbers, is equal to 18. So we have these two numbers, and the sum is 18, or the sum is equal to 18, and the difference is equal to 4. All right, so now we have two equations. Now let's take a look at something here. This is really important in algebra. Notice we have two variables, x and y, and we have two equations. So typically, you need the number of equations, uh, you need uh, uh, the number of equations equal to the number of variables that you're looking to solve for. So here we're looking to solve for two variables, so we're going to need two equations. All right, so what we have right here is something called a system of linear equations. Now this is a big topic in algebra, and I'm not going to get into it. But uh, it's definitely something you need to understand. But effectively, uh, we could graph this line. x plus y is equal to 18 is a line that you can actually graph. And so is x minus y is equal to 4. So a system is basically a linear system is effectively two lines that we can graph. And what we're looking for is the xy point of intersection that is called the solution. Now, there's different uh, techniques to actually solve systems. You can actually graph these lines and look, but we're going to use, um, look at where they uh, intersect, but we're going to use an algebraic technique to solve this system. All right, so we have our uh, system here, our two-variable linear system. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I forgot how to do this, uh, these type of problems. Well, you want to be thinking about, like, the substitution method and the elimination or linear combination method. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. So I am going to use the elimination or linear combination method because it's definitely the easiest one in this problem. Okay, so we have x plus y is equal to 18 and x minus y is equal to 4. Now, the linear combination or the elimination method uh, basically allows us to um, add uh, both equations of this system and we can form a new equation. But the whole idea here is to try to eliminate one of these variables, okay, x or y. So uh, that's important because if we can get this down to a one variable equation, we can solve for that variable. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so x plus y is equal to 18 and x minus y is equal to 4. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add down in a column manner. So x plus x is 2x, and then y minus y is 0. So this is what you're trying to achieve. You're trying to eliminate one variable and get uh, an equation in just one variable. All right, so we're eliminating the y's here, and 18 plus uh, 4 is 22. Okay, so now we have 2x is equal to 22, and now we have a simple basic one variable linear equation that we can solve for x. Okay, so 2x is equal to 22 to solve for x. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2, so x is equal to 11. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full detailed lesson on every single topic. I also cover thousands of problems with full detailed video solutions. I have a ton of additional worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for tests, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so now that we know that x is equal to 11, we need to find the other variable, which is y. All right, so we know that one of our numbers is 11, and we're looking for the other number, and that other number is represented by the variable y. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we have two equations here in our system, and now that we know that x is 11, we can replace either one of these x's with 11 and solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and use this first uh, equation, x plus y is equal to 18, and I'm going to uh, replace that x with 11. All right, so we have 11 plus y is equal to 18. Let's solve for y. So all we have to do is subtract both sides of the equation by 11, and y is equal to 7. All right, so our two numbers is 11 and 7, and we could just quickly check this. So uh, the sum of these numbers is 11 plus 7. Of course, that is 18. And the difference, 11 minus 7, is 4. Okay, so hopefully you found this uh, algebra word problem interesting. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I need additional help in algebra. Well, let me go ahead and give you some uh, recommendations here. So check out these courses. I'm going to leave links to all of these in the description of this video. Now, the first course that I would recommend for those of you that are starting off in basic algebra is my pre-algebra course. I'm also going to leave uh, Algebra and Algebra 2, those courses, in the description as well. Now, when it comes to uh, basic linear systems in pre-algebra, I give you an introduction of uh, systems in algebra. We go a little bit deeper. And, of course, Algebra 2, we even go further. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.